Welcome back to the 37th part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework. And in this one we're going to sort of take a look at customising that Django admin. And to do that I'm going to take a look at a particular example that a lot of people sort of want to change as soon as they see the Django admin and that is the Django branding, so the sort of uh, title for the Django admin at the top of the page. So it's sort of this bit up here. So it's just some text and if we look, if we open the Chrome developer tools uh, we can see that if we just select this element here uh, we should be able to see that it is just a h1 tag and then it's got a link inside of that to go to the home page presumably or the page that we're on. Um, so what I'm going to do is just change that text so I'm going to talk about two ways that we can change that and then I'll sort of talk about which way is per perhaps better for your use case and then which one I prefer to use generally so to do that I'm going to go to the admin.py file I didn't need to create this, this is just uh, there by default um, but we have used it uh, once before to register the user profile model in the admin page that's why we can see this user profiles uh, model here showing up uh, because that's not default behavior we did that in a previous video but what we can also do is to change that text to something very simple and that is just say admin.site dot site header and then that is equal to the string of whatever you want it to be so I'll just call it administration maybe just to remove that Django branding and then the development server will update and if we refresh we can see it just says administration now because of our middleware it's a little bit hard to see the uh, login page uh, the, the actual Django login page but it does say administration if you're able to see that easily uh, as well so that's sort of on the top of the uh, little little form that it gives you. So to enter your username and password, there's it just says uh, this text uh, slightly above that. So that's one way that you can change the name in the Django admin. So I'm going to show you the other way, and I think it's a bit more flexible to be able to do it like this, uh, because defining it like this, you've only really got access to be able to change that one bit of text and although admin.site might have other attributes it's not really that customizable like uh, it'd be quite difficult to change the size of this text for example but I think another way that is perhaps a little bit better than this uh, at least unless you want a very simple sort of straight swap and you don't really need the extra customization and flexibility uh, is to override uh, a default Django template so in our templates folder, I'm just going to put the uh, files for this admin page in our accounts app um, and I'm going to say, I'm just going to create a new file in templates and then in inside admin and it's going to be called base site .html and in this what I can do is override a default Django template and the default Django template is going to be called uh, base.html so I'm going to say extends uh, admin forward slash base.html so that should give us all the default sort of everything we've got here and now we've lost the text so I'm going to say the branding so I'm going to define a block here and I'm going to say uh, block and then branding so that's the name of the block in the Django template that we want to change whatever is inside of so we're going to use our branding block instead of the one that's defined already so I'm just going to say h1 and I'm going to say admin remember it said admin administration before and then as always I'm going to say end block just to let them know that the uh, block branding has finished and then uh, that's the end of the file. So if we refresh we now have admin so that's the other way that you can override that sort of Django administration text in the top right and on the login page so hopefully you find that useful. In the next one we're going to customize the Django admin a little bit more.